Rescued Concept Cars Show, What Might Have Been From Mercury, Lincoln Models. By Mark Phelan, Detroit Free Press. Rescued by a collector, three nearly forgotten concept cars provide a window into Ford Motor Company's hopes for its three core brands at the dawn of the 21st century. The concept cars trio are the 2003 Mercury Messenger, a gorgeous coupe sport developed in a last, desperate attempt to save the mid-price brand Ford would drop in 2010. 1998 Ford Libra, a European-engineered subcompact convertible developed to peak American interest in small cars. 2001 Lincoln MK9, a big luxury sedan created during German executive Wolfgang Reitzel's reign at Ford since disbanded premier automotive group of luxury brands. Mercury Messenger concept cars were a hit at the 2003 North American International Auto Show in Detroit. There's no way to calculate the concept car's worth. Unique by definition, they're literally worth whatever someone will pay for them. Joe Boards, a Chicago-area restaurant and nightclub developer, probably has the world's largest collection of privately owned concepts. The Fords are a departure for Boards, who previously focused on concepts from the 1950s, including a legendary group of Detroit-area junkyard owner had saved when General Motors ordered them destroyed. It was a unique opportunity Board said when he acquired the MK9, a big luxury car forecast as the new face of Lincoln, when it debuted at the 2001 New York Auto Show. When I saw the Lincoln, I was amazed. It's right up there with the great concept cars of Harley Earl, the iconic General Motor designer who created the whole idea of concept cars, far-out dream mobiles that presented a vision of the look and technology a brand might offer in the future. Lincoln MK9 concept cars were designed by Jerry McGovern. Bodies by Jerry. The MK9 and Messenger were both the work of designer Jerry McGovern, who oversaw Lincoln and Mercury design briefly before returning to his native England and becoming head of Land Rover design in 2004. McGovern's a true artist who wants his vehicles to be perfect, Bort said. The MK9 was created during one of Lincoln's many dalliances with different naming systems when the brand considered reviving its series have numbered marked cars. That plan went astray and Lincoln went with the confusing and recently abandoned MKZ, MKC, MKT, MKS and MKX names. The MK was a big luxury coupe that used the running gear of Lincoln production vehicles circa 2000. In addition to long, low looks, it had lots of chrome trim and seats modeled on the classic Eames chair, cherry wood and red leather. Like many concepts, the MK9 was not a running car, but unlike many, it was built on the chassis of one of the brand's production models. Bortz enjoys looking at beautiful cars, but he loves driving them, so he had the MK9 fitted with an air suspension and production Lincoln V8 engine and transmission. It's fully drivable. Also designed by McGovern, the Messenger was one of the stars of the 2003 Detroit Auto Show, introduced in an elaborate presentation, where the car was dropped from the roof as Ford's then-design product chief Chris Theodore and design boss Jay Mays rhapsodized about the classically proportioned Messenger as the flagship for a reinvigorated Mercury brand. Jay Mays, Ford design chief reveals the Mercury Messenger concept at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit, January 6, 2003. Dot a little Ferrari. Like the MK9, the Messenger was not a functioning car. The concept had a little electric motor, so it could be driven across the stage at an auto show, but not much more than that. Bortz had it equipped with modern batteries and a powerful electric motor. It now cruises comfortably at 35 to 40 miles per hour. Bortz is confident it could approach 100 miles per hour, but bits and pieces of bodywork designed for static display would probably fly off well before then so he takes it easy. The Ford Libra concept car debuted at the 1998 Chicago Auto Show. Not so the little Libra. Bort says its tuned version of a late 90s Ford of Europe four-cylinder engine sounds like a little Ferrari. A tire-squealing video of the Libra revving and zipping about a parking lot supports that claim. Bort's acquired the Libra from another collector this year. It debuted at the 1998 Chicago Auto Show. Built on the platform of the Fiesta subcompact Ford sold in Europe then, it goes like hell, he said. It's got rear suicide doors so there's room for four people to get in, even though it's tiny. In the late 90s, Ford was studying how to use its European unit to create small, sporty and fuel-efficient cars for American buyers. The Libra never made it to production, but the next generation is sold here, including a sporty street model.
Bortz's collection isn't open to the public, but he frequently takes concepts to classic car shows. Nothing scheduled, but keep an eye open for the cars at leading shows in 2020. The Bortz Collection's website includes photos of his current vehicles, concept cars Bortz owned in the past, and a page dedicated to photos of Bortz's dogs with members of his family and favorite cars.